Hi guys, Nix here, another Diablo 3 episode, playing Hardcore Inferno on my monk. Trying to see if we can finish Inferno once and for all after a few deaths along the way. So in my last episode we just got to Deckard Kane's death, spoilers. Uh, and now we have to go to the Caverns of RNA above the Wurven to continue our quest. It's been a while since I've done an episode just because uh, in the time between it was the Blizzard Diablo 3 anniversary so for people not familiar um, there was uh, a buff during the anniversary a couple of weeks um, where you were granted substantially more experience of just playing the game as you normally would um, the normal so instead of playing my monk and carrying on this episode I decided it would be more worthwhile to level up some I alts so I managed to get all of my uh, hardcore yeah. characters Eight to level 60 seven. bar my this witch doctor well. uh, so they're all infer on inferno now like my monk I thought that would just be it, d it just saved me a lot of time in the long run really <coughs> doing it that way rather than you know playing it without the buff it's just saved me a lot of time so I thought it would be better um, now that's over with I have played, been playing a little bit of Company of Heroes 2 if you like RTS's I would definitely recommend it it is very fun um, but yeah back to Diablo here we go first pack less than a minute in quite exciting I did charge straight in because uh, quite squishy, not very dangerous to me. There we go. No loot too bad. Let's carry on. A vicious strike. A vicious strike. During the holiday week as well, um, because I got all of those different characters to level 60, I got them all to Act 1 Inferno. I don't think I got anyone in any f further. So if you want to see any of the different classes of a hardcore playthrough, maybe on a higher um, monster level, just to ramp the risk up, just leave it in the comments or let us know via our GSC Twitter account, anything like that, any requests. I don't really mind, you know, unless it's absolutely ridiculous, like play this naked on over. Monster Power 10. But anything more realistic than that, I'll, I'll probably give it a shot. Seeing as though hardcore is there for you to take risks, might as well do it. So I did chicken out a little bit after a couple of deaths on this video series. I'm no longer playing on any Monster Power difficulty. I just want to finish Inferno with at least one character. Just to say I've just to say I have. Because even though I don't think it's an enormous challenge not to die in, in this game um, with disconnections and things like that, things that are out of your control, I still think it is quite a big not not a big, but it is still quite a, a reasonable achievement to have finished uh, the game solo without dying. Come on. I hate this place. It takes forever to get out. Little spider chasing me like he's going to kill me. Oh, pack. Came out of the shadows. Should be should be quite simple. Electrified nightmare, vampiric and plague. Should be all right unless they stack too many plagues on me then. I might have a bit of trouble on my hands. Apart from that, I'm tanking him quite well. Yeah, should be okay. Rask Filth Pit. What a name. Mother should be ashamed, mate. 
Resolute. Ooh, two yellows. Take them. Yeah, take them. Fingers crossed some good loot. <sighs> Can always do an upgrade on hardcore. Ooh, I think this is the way out. To the spider queen. My mistress has accepted me. Come close. Disgusting old man. Your dedication is Alright, here we are. Crazy lady in the web. She's horrible and she sucks the innards from her victims. Oh no. No. It's too late. I hear her. The spider queen is coming. Spider queen. Spider queen. Easily one of the most face roll bosses in the game. Punch her till she runs away and she summons some ads and then you kill them and she comes back for another beating. Even my Templar can tank her. That's how weak she is. Go, spider bitch is down. Take the loot. There we go. Get the pool of venom poison. Put it on her. And there we go, out of the cave. Woohoo! Come on, lady, hurry up. Yes, we're out. Done. Now we have to talk to this lady. Yep, no one wants to listen to her. We have to find the Kazra staff so we can get through the Kazra barricade. Ooh. Logra the warrior. Fierce moon clan fighter. Not that fierce, mate. Right, find the Kazra staff so we can get through the Kazra barricade. Doesn't sound too challenging. Oh, look at the view. Beautiful rainbow. Back to the demons. Just go this way, follow the path. Probably won't find it, but I don't have any other ideas. Oh, there's a pack plagued arcane waller and vortex. Should be okay. Arcane and uh, waller might cause a bit of a problem. Especially with that tree he's putting his little poison spores down. But I think I should be able to handle it quite nicely. Ah, two trees. I must not enough that Get out of there. <coughs> Is this the last one? Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, it pulled me in. Those trees can become quite lethal if they stack and they all drop their poison at the same time. Definitely able to kill me if I'm not concentrating. But I'd rather have packs to kill than run through the whole playthrough without getting any of that lovely loot. What's this flashing on my map? Oh, the staff. Let's kill 
this dude quickly and we'll carry on. Doubt it'll drop anything good, but you never know. Yeah, nothing. Why am I not surprised? Here we go! Make short work of these. Three trees. Wasting my time. Really don't want to take waste my time killing them. If you haven't noticed, just keep running away from them. Templars tanking them down there now. I think they've given up the pursuit. There's the waypoint. Not that way. Speech. Poor dude. Right, better kill these totems before too many spawn. Shrine down there, what is it? Fortune shrine. Cool. Hopefully my luck improves. Mana. There's normally a pack in here, so I'm going to search the whole area because I want that loot. There he is in the corner down here. What is he? Vampiric, Electrified, Arcane, and Frozen. That's dangerous. Frozen in place, and then if the Arcane lasers get you, that's it. You're gonna. You're a gonna, mate. Looks like they got quite a long cooldown on their freeze though, so... Oh! Little dudes while I at it. Alright, there we go. And he's going down. Take the loot. And continue. Lyric's Manor. Making quite quick progress. Alright, let's kill that guy. Here they come trying to bum rush me. Not gonna happen. Dun da 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 Oh my Templar died. He'll be back up in a minute. There he is. There we 
go. Take him into Leora's old torture chambers. Below us, Magda will die. Sounded like a threat. Right, let's go into the torture chambers, or as we know it, the halls of agony. Let's do this. No no oh, Grand Inquisitor. Oh, and a pack. The reflex damage, molt, and teleport. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Teleport and vortex really aren't a threat. Unless coupled with certain other abilities and reflex damage, I have high life leech. So every time I hit them, damage that is reflected back is mitigated by the fact that I leech some of their life, so... They are not a threat. Almost done. Three yellows. Sweet. Take them all now. <coughs> Let's look for level two. Is this the right way? I hope so, because I'm going far out if it isn't. Smash them doors down! Oh, it's back. Oh no, it's not. It's another way. Common Master of Torture. Did a good job. Chopping blocks. They don't really do much damage, but they stun you when you get hit, and that can be quite deadly in hardcore. So it is, even now, better to just dodge the snap. That's a pack. Board, wall of vortex reflects damage. Should be okay. So none of the zombies continue to spawn. It's got a lot of life. I give him that. Is 
down. Three yellows. Sweet. Soldier on. Ah, there's the arrow. Good thing I was going the right way. Da 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 da. Level two. Fire pit. Mm. Race for that. Uh, left or right? Left or right? Right. That is literally how I make decisions in Diablo. Just ask myself the question. First answer that comes into my head: Gambo. But it looks like again the arrows on my screen, so I must have been going the right way. So just like head straight down to it. No messing about. If I do find a bit of better gear, I am going to take a bit of a less defensive build. Um, I'll probably get rid of Tempest Rush, I think. Even though it is useful for just zooming about, knocking back enemies and getting out of situations. I do think that with the Monk, you can stack a lot higher resists than any of the other classes. So um, I do feel like I am a bit of a tank, even on this difficulty. Um, it's not a bad thing, because if I were to disconnect or something, those extra stats that mitigate some damage might keep me alive. But Diablo is a hack and slash, so I do feel as if I am going to get to the point where I do want to go for more damage rather than defence. probably think I'm stupid, but it's just how we enjoy playing the game, isn't it? On Act 1 though, it's a lot of people probably do get drawn to that fact that hey, I should be taking more damage rather than defence. I'll see how it goes in Acts 2 and 3 because it does scale quite significantly. Plus, doing the, uh, the Butcher, the final boss of Act 1, will give me an idea of how well my DPS has come because he does have an enraged time. So we'll have to see how it goes. All right. I am Asilla. Hello, Asilla. Queen to our beloved Luaric. My servant and I were consumed by his madness. Now I give holding her head like a boss to release my people from their eternal torment. So free some prisoners' remains, as you do, on the side. these horrors because they explode upon death it's always good to whittle them down a little bit by a little bit each of them um, because then hopefully the kid the one the one that dies first kills the rest with his explosion so just a little pro tip here we go look one will explode boom kill the other one boom and then leaves him nearly dead nice little combination they do spit out little worms of horribleness when they die but you know that's disgusting demons for you right, it's two prisoners freed Let's see if there's any more around this end otherwise I'm gonna have to take a hike
think so. Uh, doesn't look like there is any more remains down this end. Take a trip. A lion shrine and a fleeting shrine. Nice, real nice. Just in case you didn't know, fleeting shrine makes you run faster, and lion shrine gives you more experience. So, quite a good little combination of shrines stacked on top of each other there. Fleet and Shrine is probably my favourite just because of the increased speed boost. Oh, there's another pack. Desecrate and Frozen. Alright. Oh. An Illusionist. That ability is not yet recharged. Just got rubber banded back. Good thing I had Serenity on cooldown, otherwise that could have been fatal. Take the loot, take the loot. Always remember to take the loot. Loot, 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 that's what we play for. Now we need to find two more. There's one. And this room is locked, so that was good. Oh, there's the other one. There we go, all six. Now we have to go and kill the warden. That annoying dude that's been talking this whole time. Here we go. Normally he spawns with um, Molten. Let's see what else he has. Jailer as well. <coughs> Or is it desecrate? Yeah, that's desecrate. He's down. Easy enough, easy enough. Clean these dudes up. And away we go. <coughs> Off to the butcher. Dun, 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 dun. Level 3. Just gotta find the next door. And it's the end of the act. As long as I survive, anyway. Otherwise, uh, you'll probably hear me recording the PC going out the window. If I die. <laughs> Cocky little Templar. Another fleet in shrine. Good stuff. Let's get going. Oh! Hiding little bastards. They can't get a jump on me though. Nice 
nice couple of little drops there as well. Just clean up these dudes. There we go. Let's go this way. See what happens, eh? Just see what happens. Oh, another pack. Desecrate and Arcane. Oh, scary. Stay out of the laser beams and you should be okay. just for a treasure gobbo back there as well so we're going to finish him off Diablo's little homage to a uh, golden axe if anybody is that old and remembers that game here is the treasure goblin beat him up get that loot beat him up get that loot got him The yellows, always worth it. Look at that ruby as well. Kill these little praying dudes before they change. Oh, here we are, dudes. The Chamber of Suffering. This is the moment of truth. It might be the last time you see me alive. Cross your fingers, hope to die. Mia must be back in Tristan crying over the old man's corpse. I know it's only a game, but I really do hate Magda. Hello, Butcher. Can't you get in, mate? Oh. That was easy, wasn't it? Just opening the door instead of smashing it down. Oh. Someone got up on the wrong side of the bed. Let's do this. Get out of the smash. Oh, get out of the fire. Move. There we go. So the butcher has a few different attacks, plus randomly throughout the fight, certain panels on the floor um, begin to catch on fire. So you always have to be aware of that as well. When he starts hopping up and down, he's just telegraphing a big smash, so you just need to move. And if you get too far away, you probably won't see it in this encounter because I'm a monk and I'm, I'm up in his face. Um, but he does have a hook to drag you in, which also stuns you. Uh, it can be quite lethal to the ranged classes like the wizard or the demon hunter because he just pulls you straight in and you lose all of your kiting ability but he seems to be going down quite nicely I think I'll beat the enraged timer as well hopefully he drops some nice stuff just turn serenity on so I am immune to that last smash might as well. Yes. She's down. Our criminals treated in your land. Often I am sent to find them and punish them. How about the order they are just executed? So after that big fight, the Templar comes out with one strange question. Obviously he was on the tip of his tongue the whole time, but he couldn't find a time to ask. Is this? It's 
messed them up. Don't like the look of this crazy little thing. My sword? Oh, look at that. I remember now. I was an archangel of the high heaven. I was the embodiment of justice. I was. I am. Tyrion. You look more like Vin Diesel, mate. You have restored my mind, friend. And now I remember the warning I came to deliver. The lie and Asmodan. The last lords of hell are unleashing a tide of darkness that will drown this world. No. Already, Belial's shadow has fallen upon Chaldean. I am the hand of the gods. Belial and his demons do not frighten me. We must move quickly. Let us return to Tristram to make ready. Make ready! Let's go through the little TP. Okay, town portal. Let's see what he has to say. Time grows short, my friend. Even now, Belial's influence is spreading through Chaldea. And how will we find him? We won't have to. Magda and her coven will lead us straight to him. I'm not going anywhere until Uncle Deckard's been laid to rest. Let us bury your uncle. Then we will have justice for your uncle's killers. I have called for a caravan to guide us to the east. Speak to the caravan master when you are ready to go. We will see to Cain as we depart. Well, there we go. That's the end of Act 1. Before we go, we'll identify all of the items that we found. See if there's anything good. Any upgrades or anything that we can sell for millions of gold. Let's have a look. Mm. Rubbish. Rubbish. Mm. Rubbish. 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 Ah, dexterity on the offhand. Some nice good stats, but because of dexterity and quite low damage, it's rubbish. 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 So that's nice damage. It's got strength and rubbish stats. Rubbish. Ooh. Is there an upgrade on everything? Mm. Except they don't have arcane resistance or movement speed. Don't think it's worth it. Rubbish. 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 Bloody rubbish. Crap. Horrendous. Terrible. And rubbish! So there we have it. Out of all those items, approximately zero were useful. Would, would you have guessed it? Would you have guessed it? Well, would you? Anyway, thanks for joining me. It's been emotional, and that is the end of Act 1.